Hello, this is a lecture in linear algebra, and the first lecture here. Now, in linear algebra, the beginning is to solve linear equations. Here, I have a linear equation, three unknowns, x, y, z, and three equations. So I label equation one, equation two, equation three. I substitute equation one into equation two. Because x plus z is negative one, therefore this x plus z is negative one. So the negative one on the left hand side cancels the negative one on the right hand side. That gives y equals zero. So I have y equals zero. I label this equation, I label this result as a line four or equation four. Next, I substitute four into three. Four is y equals zero. I substitute y equals zero into equation three, so this is zero. Therefore, I have negative two x minus z equals two. So I have this, negative two x minus z equals two. I label this as equation five. Now I add number one and number three, Number one is this, number three is this. You see here, plus z and minus z. So plus z and minus z cancel. I have negative x. This plus that is negative x. And because y is zero, so y is not here. So negative x and z cancels equals two. Negative x minus, oh no, negative x equals one. So that's the result of substitute one. Sorry, sorry. That is the result of adding one and five. So I have x equals negative one and y equals zero. I call this x equals negative one, six, equation six. I put six into one. So x is negative one. So here, x is negative one. But I have negative one on the right hand side. So this negative one cancels this negative one that means z is zero. So I have the result. x equals negative one, y equals zero, z equals zero. And that's the end of uh, this linear equations. Three unknowns, three equations. That's how we do this, how we solve this, just by using algebra. Next, we can do the same uh, question by using matrix. So here is the matrix method. So in the matrix method, I write down the matrix. Here, one, one, negative two. I do not need to write x, y, z. I just write the coefficients before the variables. So one, one, negative two. And for the y part, I do not have y, so I have zero, one, one, zero, one, one. And for the z part, I have one, one, negative one. So one, one, negative one. And this column gives me negative one, negative one, two negative one, negative one, two. So I label this one, two, three. 
Now what I do, I just copy line one. One is one, zero, one, negative one. And the next line, I use line two, subtract line one. I use this minus that. One minus one is zero. One minus zero is one. One minus one is zero. Negative one minus negative one is zero again. So I have this. I label this as line five. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. And the next one, I do two times, uh, let's see, two times one plus three. Two times this row plus this row. So two times this is two. Two plus negative two is zero. Two times zero is zero. Zero plus one is one. Two times two, uh, two times one is two. Two plus negative one is one. Two times negative one is negative two. Negative two plus two is zero. So I have this line now. I call this line six. And then the next, I just, I copy the first line. I copy this line four. So it's one, zero, one, negative one. One, zero, one, negative one. I copy the, the next line, which is number five. So I have zero, one, zero, zero. Okay, here, zero, one, zero, zero. And the last one. The last one, I don't want this one. So I subtract. I subtract uh, these two lines. I subtract, let me see now, these two. You see have the one here, one here? If I subtract one minus one, then I get zero. So I get zero by subtract, how do I subtract? I, this line subtracts this line. So one minus one is zero. One minus zero is one. Zero minus zero is zero. So I have this now. Look, I have zeros below this one, you see? I have a zero below this one. So this form, there is a name which is called a row echelon. Row echelon form means I have zeros below this number. I have zero below this number. This is the last row, so, okay, so what? So this is called a row echelon form. I can proceed. Uh, I don't want this one here. How do I make this one zero? I subtract. I use this line, subtract this line. That will give me zero here. Look, one minus zero is one. Zero minus zero is zero. 1 minus 1 is 0 now. And this negative 1 minus 0 is again negative 1. So I have this row. This row is takes the difference between the first row and the last row. Then I just copy the next row, 0, 1, 0, 0. And the copy the next row is 0, 0, 1, 0. So this is a special form. I have a 1 here and nothing below it. I have a 1 here, nothing above it, nothing below it. I have a 1, 0 here. Uh, I have a 1 here. I have nothing above it, 0, 0. So this form is called reduced echelon form. When I get to reduced echelon form, the answer is x is equal to negative 1. Y 
equals zero, z equals zero. These ones here represents x, y, z. And this column is the answer to x, y, z. So I get x, y, z by using matrix method. And this method is, is what is studied in linear algebra. So that's it. The first lesson is quite easy. Goodbye.